This code sample used the Dojo library. Here we can find a script element that refers the Dojo library. We can, instead of stating that we use HTTP, just delete it. Doing so, whether the page is served using HTTP or HTTPS, in both cases it should work. In addition, you can find the attribute data dojo, dojo config assigned with the value async true, meaning that we want to use the library in asynchronous way, meaning that we will be able to asynchronously load different modules the library includes. Over here we have a call to the function require. This function is defined within the Dojo library. We specify the modules we want to use and then we pass over a function with parameters according to the modules we require. Meaning, meaning that when those modules are loaded, when the loading completes, then this function will be invoked and these two parameters will be assigned with uh, references for objects, an object for each one of the module. Each one of the modules is represented using an object and the function we pass over will be invoked and the references for the two objects that represent these two modules will be passed over. Here we invoke the method by id on the object is reference was passed over to DOM passing over the string msg meaning that node will be assigned with a reference for the object that represents this specific element or let's say node will be assigned with a reference for an object a specific object in the DOM that represents this h1 element calling the set timeout function passing over a function and number of milliseconds we will get that function be to be invoked once 2000 milliseconds pass over. So once the two seconds pass over this code will be executed and this code is actually a call to the method place on the object that represents uh, this specific module. Calling place, the method place on the DOM construct object, the object that represents uh, this specific uh, module. We can pass over um, a string that represents an element we want to be injected as a child for the a node we pass over as the second argument. So after two seconds we can expect the word love to be displayed right after uh, the text uh, we and after another two seconds we can expect the word the word dojo to be displayed at the same line. So let's execute this code sample That's it.